look good today. Thank you all for coming to see about me. I love it. I love your energy. It's so good. It always lifts me right on up. <laughs> Did everybody have a good weekend? Yeah. yeah? That's good. I was on mommy duty, OK? Because I have a 13-year-old son, little David, who's getting bigger and bigger and bigger by the second, I must say. Every, every time, you know, we come together, he's like, mama, let me see if I'm taller than you yet, right? <laughs> he's almost there, but I be like, listen, you got a tall mama. Yeah, that's my baby, all the way over there, right there on the side of me. And then look, you see this picture? That's him and seven of his cousins. I collect other people's children. I'm called Mama Hood, okay? <laughs> so if you ever need, I ain't playing. If you need a babysitter, call me, okay? Like, people don't believe it, and it's me and all the kids. So this weekend, Every weekend, I like to see things from a kid's perspective. And so last weekend, it was about some chips or them sitting up there watching TV from a cell phone or watching people eat on the internet, and they're so fascinated by it. And I'm like, wait, we didn't do this growing up, right? <laughs> we did a little whirly ball here for little King Kim's birthday a couple of weekends ago. So that's that, too. And I get into the, all the activities with the babies. That's just what we do. I am a very active mom. I play basketball, tennis, you name it. I'm doing it with the children. <laughs> Oh, but honey, sometimes it's shocking to see how they, you know, their generation live. I swear these kids are our new people, right? Because every time you think we're supposed to teach them, they be teaching me, okay? So he decided this weekend he wanted to go shopping for gym shoes. Now, I'm from Chicago, so I call it gym shoes. What y'all call it? You call it gym shoes or sneakers? Sneakers? Sne gym shoes? Some of y'all call it gym shoes. It's tennis shoes, the sneakers. Well, uh, baby, I, I went shopping with them. They tricked me into this because I'm thinking this was going to be shopping like I used to do when we grew up. You know, you get a reasonable shoe and you go sit down. <laughs> baby, it was no <laughs> nothing like this. So I thought we was going to go into a regular store. And then the salesman says, this man over here just paid $7,000 for a shoe. I said, what? <laughs> $7,000 for a gym shoe? Who? So did you just look me in my face and tell me somebody just spent $7,000 on a gym shoe? David, where do you got me at right now? <laughs> <laughs> so then I had to go straight into mommy mode, boss lady mode, everything. I said, sir, okay, let's start with the price range. Okay, where, where does it start? And, and then where does the price end? What you say, how many what? Okay, little David, don't worry about that section. You're going to look right over here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Baby. So then, to Andy around here, my EP last weekend told me, he got, you got two twin boys, right? Yeah. And he told me about the store, but he didn't tell me how much it cost. You're supposed to tell your friend <laughs> when I, stuff is that expensive. I would have never went in there. I figured, I figured you had celebrity money, so it wouldn't no. be a deal. <laughs> <laughs> Hold the line. <laughs> this Miss Celebrity works for every single dime, and I love to teach my kid. Y'all know? You got to let them know. And set an example, like, look, baby, see, they need to learn the value is not in the shoe or the name of the shoe, because they got the nerve to tell me, the boys, well, you know, I don't feel right once I put the shoe on. It don't feel like I really did not. I said, that's because you ain't paid for it. <laughs> Somebody else paid for that shoe. The value is in there when you put the hard work in it and you earn it for yourself. And then that's when you're going to feel good in that expensive shoe you got. And it's something you're supposed to buy for yourself. Don't you go ask your mama and nobody else <laughs> to buy you no <laughs> shoe that costs no $7,000. OK. So anyway, we go in the store, and this baby sees deep to pull. You got to pull up these shoes. Hold up. Pull up the picture. This is the shoe I want to see right here. How much you think this shoe costs? $100? $500? $1,000? You would think. Do you know they had the nerve to look me in my face with a smile and say, that shoe costs $20,000? <laughs> Can you believe it? I said, what the shoe do? <laughs> and then, <laughs> what it do? Is it going to drive me somewhere? Oh, my God. And then they said with a smile. <laughs> Baby. OK, so apparently, I, I ended up, so the kids like to pick me stuff to wear, like, you need to wear this, you need to wear that. So I ended up getting some gym shoes, and you know what they had the nerve to tell me? My shoe was fake. <laughs> so apparently there is a way that you can, it's a person that examines the shoe. Y'all ever heard of that? Yeah. You have? Yeah. Well, where I been? 
this was, when I say a shock to me, because I, as a kid, my brother and my sister loved gym shoes, and they would get, like, the Jordans and the name brand stuff. I'm like, Mama, don't worry about me. Take me to Payless. <laughs> Long as I'm wearing it, it's it. And then I would wear my own little thing where I would have plenty, and there'll be, we got two outfits to start off the school year. I don't know about y'all. We got two outfits, and then you got a shoe or two. I was not wasting my money on a shoe that cost $100. I'm going to go to Payless, and I'm going to get, like, five, six pairs, 100 pairs. <laughs> And I, <laughs> I would tell the kids at school, nope, it's it because I'm wearing it. It doesn't need to be a name brand because as long as I'm wearing it, it's it. And so anyway, with that being said, these lovely ladies want to bring me some good shoes over here. These are my shoes. care about is the color, okay? But I, I ain't gonna lie, I am a shopper. You wanna see them? Oh, Andy want me to put it on display, but that's what I do do. When I do get shoes and I'm fascinated with them, I sit them up at night. But it's normally a heel or a red bottom, something that I value like that. But when I'm with the kids, I like to dress in their way and sometimes they like to dress me up. So I ended up getting more shoes than the kids, but I did not spend no $20,000 on it, let's be clear. And this shoe I got, and then after I got it, this is the shoe that they decided to tell me wasn't real. It was fake. So apparently, they picked up the shoe, and you could, you're supposed to listen to it. Anybody know what we listen, does you know what we're listening for? Is it supposed to sound like something when you walk? <laughs> okay. Then you're supposed to smell the shoe. This is a brand new shoe, and it's mine, so I can smell it, okay. <laughs> Wait, did I hear something? So anyway, let's look at this video. This woman gonna expect this. Look at her. She flipped it over, hold on. She checking in the inside, she smelled it. What'd she say? What's she looking for? We look inside of it. And then, she said it's valid. Okay. And it's something about the tissue too that makes a difference if the shoe is real or not. Where does stuff come from? What makes it not real? This is a serious situation. Wait, she's gonna say it's validation. What's she gonna say? The shoe is legit. Based off of what? I don't know. <laughs> so Andy, according to my kids, my shoe isn't real. So I need you to bring the shoe lady in so she can check my shoe. Until then, I will continue to listen to them. But let me show y'all the Jennifer Hudson shoe. And I'm going to put it on the market, OK? Because. <laughs> All right. So you see, I'm so happy in my shoes. See, because it's not about the shoe. It's about how you feel in your shoe. And you know what's real to you. And it's about what you value. And that's what I love to teach the children. So growing up, I used to cut up my clothes and make my things original. So these shoes I just recently got, and they're real to me. So boys, I don't care if you think they fake or not. <laughs> and I don't need nobody to check my shoe for me because it's a shoe I want to wear. So I like to customize my shoes and make them true to myself. And I just want to encourage everybody to do the same and make your own originality. And then when you want to buy a $20,000, $30,000, $40,000 shoe, you know, you make sure you got a job to do it, all right? <laughs> And don't ask your mama to do it. And make sure you express yourself with what you wear, because that's what's gonna give you the zhush that you need. Okay, we have a great show, and we'll be right back. Y'all better get ready. Our first guest is a Grammy Award-winning singer and actress. She's one-third of Destiny's Child. Y'all give it up for the one and only Miss Kelly Rowland! First of all, can we please give this no. woman big applause? Like, are you serious right now? You have your own show. Thank you. <laughs> Kelly. 
Absolutely. Congratulations. Thank you. Of course. Thank you so much. Of course. Listen, it's so hard to interview someone that you just love and admire so much. That's Girl. the hardest thing Thank ever. You, Kelly, baby. you know how much I love you. But you know how much I love you. Listen, listen, <laughs> listen. Okay, I got to say, do you know, before, let's see, uh, before Idol, uh -huh. I used to work on a Disney cruise ship. Mm -hmm. Do you know, I had a whole, sh my whole cabin, y'all from wall to wall, was Destiny's Child. Are you serious? Yes, and I used to sit and have like YouTube moments uh -huh. and watch y'all over and over again. Oh and then that God. Christmas album y'all had, oh my God. <laughs> Do you see this? Do you see she's sitting here? <laughs> like. I, I, and then, okay, do you remember when we first met? Dream Girls. Dream Girl. She looked at me so crazy. I, we were on oh the Oh, Lord, set. I looked at you You crazy. was like, and I'm like, Kelly, because I was freaking out. <laughs> like, dude, you don't understand. I used to be a kid, like, riding around, like, oh, my God, will I see Destiny Shaw? Where are they here? Are oh they there? Oh, my God. So to be able to sit here and talk to you Girl. and to be able to say, Kelly, really, that's my I know, friend. but you have to do to the biggest you. flex. To, to be able to talk to you, sit to you on my own show. <laughs> like, on my own show, it's, like... It's That's a just, big flex. The, you know, big flex. you know, oh my God. And then, okay, I haven't seen the babies in a while. How are you I know, no, I'm, I'm obsessed with my kids. Like, obsessed with not. the boys. Yes. Uh, I have a seven-year-old and I have a 20-month-old. <laughs> <laughs> it's happening so fast, y'all so don't fast. even understand. It, it's, I'm on? so obsessed. Oh. <laughs> Titan seven? Titan, girl, he's about to be eight on November 4th and Noah is about to be two. Where did the time Where go? Where did the time go? I just really wish I could. I want that moment again. Yes. Enjoy just, it while it's oh, here because it, I just want to suck on his lips. <laughs> that little pink heart just. <laughs> <laughs> are they alike or are they different? Oh, complete polar opposites. Really? Yes. Noah walks in a room and he commands it. Titan is like, I'm going to see what's going on and who you should talk to. Like, he is that guy. Very reserved. <laughs> Super well, you wait till they turn 13. They're going to get real busy on you. But see, you got Titan to help you with the little one, right? Yes. That's cool. Any more? You going to have any more? No. Kids? That's it? I'm done. T two and through. Yeah? Two and through. OK. Do you um, write affirmations, I heard, on the, on yes. the mirror? Tell yes. me about that. So in the mornings before Titan goes to school, um, I, we've already written it on the mirror. Uh, you know, I am great. I am smart. I am brave. I am a black boy with joy. I am kind. That I am intelligent. Um, and then we, oh, thank you. I mean, if it's on the mirror, you telling it to yourself, you're gonna like really, really like know it. I want, I want him to know who he is in front of the mirror at home before he goes out into the world. That means a lot. Right. As a mom. Yes. That means you're doing your jo a yeah. beautiful job. We trying, we trying. You know, it's really crazy. They try to change the narrative of our children. Yes. And so I just want to check them and let them right. know, no, we're raising them up the way the, that they should go. There you go. That is so amazing. Wow, I love that. And then, see, for me, I know my mom passed before she got to meet my son. Now, I, I felt like we related in that way. Jenny. Right? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. And what's crazy is there's so many moments that I feel like, do you have, like, spiritually yes. with your mom? Yes. So there was a night, I kid you not, there was a night, Noah was asleep, we were asleep, and all of a sudden, like, something just, like, woke me up. And I was like, what is that? And I swear to you, I swear to you, you're going to think I'm crazy when I say this, but it was like, wake up, go get my baby. Mm. And so I go to his room. It is freezing cold in his room. She was probably saying, get your butt in there and cut that air down because my <laughs> child is freezing. Yes. Because she was that type of mom. Yes. You know what and I mean? And you can feel that presence, yes. right? I can still feel her presence all the time. I all the time. They, yeah. they stay with you. Thank For me you. and my son, like, it blows my mind how much he is like my family. Yeah. You know, and it's like, wow, how can you be so much like people you've never met, but that shows mm -hmm. how strong the family genes are. Yes, you know? yes. So often he reminds me so much of my brother, my mom. I'm like, oh, that was such a grandmother that oh, you it's did a right there. Thing. Yes, oh, it's, it's giving it's, me chills. It's, in them, right? it's cold in here, but it's still. It's <laughs> <laughs> I know it'd be freezing, honey. Yes, yes. Oh my God. And you re just recently reconnected with your dad? Oh, yes. And yes. you got your music from your dad. So, tell me about check that. Check this out. My mom used to say, oh, well, you know you got your voice from me. <laughs> I love you, mom. <laughs> but the truth is, is that 
it was actually from my dad. Like, when I finally got to meet my dad after 30 plus years, he told me my wow. grandmother used to sing for Lena Horne, Count Basie. And so, another spiritual moment. I know, right? He's so cute, ain't he? Oh, that's the cutest thing. I love him. Um, so yeah, so he started telling me all about my musical family history and it made perfect sense, Jenny. I was mm. like, oh my gosh. So, so many things I get from him. I mean, <laughs> Noah's little round, wide, big head. He looks like him. It's from my daddy. <laughs> <laughs> it's from my daddy, for sure. I love that. Okay, more with Kelly. we'll be right back. She wanted to take ballet. Right, but now our baby girl can defend herself. You can't fight off a mugger doing a pirouette. Howard, this isn't Brooklyn. The scariest things around here are the decorations on people's lawns. Just give her some space. Okay. <clears throat> We're back with Kelly Rowland. Now, this new movie, The Curse of Bridge Hollow. Yes. Tell me what it's about. So basically, this new family, me and Marlon's family, we moved to a new town, mm -hmm. and basically the town is haunted. That's all I'll say, but it, it's more to it. But it's really, really cool. But what I love the most about it is the bond between Marlon's character, of course, is the father, Howard, and mm -hmm. his daughter. It's the sweetest thing, um, how they all come together in the movie. and. It's just getting to know each other as a family yeah. even more, especially a maturing daughter at that. It's different. But the town and everybody in the town, hoo-hoo. Hoo-hoo. <laughs> 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 yeah, for sure. <laughs> Sure. Okay, and you got to work with Marlon. He played yes. He played my husband in respect. Yes. I'm curious to know but what you had to make out with him. Uh, yeah, I didn't have to do that. <laughs> I did. <laughs> He's one of my favorite film husbands. Yeah. I'd have had quite a few film husbands but <laughs> <laughs> at this point, but he is. It's a blast to work with him. He's one yes. of my favorite people. I love how he cares about everybody he on set. He cares about everyone. I love him. He makes sure you have a good time. Yeah. Okay, so did your kids see the movie? What they think of it? Oh, Jenny, so my... I had a really bad parenting moment. Uh-oh. Where Titan's about to be eight. I thought since I'm sitting right there with him, we're fine. <laughs> But there's a scene in the movie where mommy looks like she's about to go to the other side. <laughs> and basically, oh, no. Titan goes, <laughs> Mommy! Aww. Like, it was a whole release. Like, he cried for five minutes. I was like, yo, I'm right here. I'm right here. I'm not going nowhere. And he was like, no. Like, it was a whole moment. So I called my mama T, uh -huh. and she's like, well, why the hell you do something like that? <laughs> <laughs> she didn't understand why I even showed her the movie. She's like, it's Halloween, baby. It's Halloween. You don't do that. No. So, no. you missed the mark. You missed the mark. Missed the well, you learned your lesson right there. Yes. Okay, now, my son is funny about Halloween decorations. So he's like, you could do a pumpkin. Don't get the, the, the witch or anything like that. <laughs> so how do you do with decorations for the kids? We just ain't doing it this year. You're not? I, I freaked them out enough. I think we're fine. So the movie scared them so bad. Yes. He actually, we used to have spider webs in the front of the house, or like big yeah. spiders. He was like, no, the, in the movie, the Halloween decorations come to life. You can't do that. So think what about mean? what would happen if the Halloween decorations come to life. You got a big old spider on the top of your Ooh, house. What He's really like, it's going to come to life. No. <laughs> I, did, I did the worst. Yeah. 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 Oh, my goodness. For Christmas, I'm going See, all out. I heard you start your decorations the day after Halloween. That's right. I do too, yeah. Yes, ma'am. You do? The longer Christmas is, the better the yes. Christmas are in the house. I like to extend it. Yes. Oh, we on the same page with yes. that. Yes. Now tell me, okay, so you you ski, you just learned how to ski. What's that like? I tried to you, ski. What does that mean, you tried? That I got up there and I did my best and <laughs> this is you. <laughs> I'd also like to say, if you look behind the camera, there are a line of kindergarten children behind me. <laughs> because I didn't know what I was doing. I genuinely didn't know what I was doing, but I tried my best. Okay, I don't know if that gives me too I much won't encouragement. Do it again. I have to think about it. But more with Kelly, we'll be right back. <laughs> and we're back with the lovely Kelly Rowland. Okay, this is gonna be fun. We're gonna play a, we're gonna have a girlfriend moment and I hey. get to ask you questions and see what your answer is. Okay. Hmm. Uh-oh. Who, uh-oh. Who were you most nervous to perform with? With? With or even for? 
Oh, ooh. Muhammad Ali. Yeah? Yes. He asked me to perform for his birthday. Ooh. Yeah, it was like, I was, so many people came. And um, I was super nervous because I just, I love, I have so much respect yes. for Muhammad, Muhammad Ali. So, see, I stuttered. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I love Muhammad Ali. And he's, there's literally um, a, a piece in our house that is of Muhammad Ali. So. Oh my goodness. Yeah, love Muhammad Ali. Oh my goodness. Wow, you got me thinking. <laughs> I feel like I probably felt like that when I... Prince. Girl, I screamed at him on the stage. <laughs> Y'all, that's what I'm saying. It's the hardest when you, with people that you admire, right? Yes. So I was getting ready to sing with Prince, and he was like, we're going to come up on this lift. I'm going to hand you the mic, and we're just going to start singing. And in the middle of the performance, because I'm trying not to scream at Kelly right now. Listen, in the middle of the performance, I was like, ah, I'm screaming. I'm singing. Ooh, oh, Lord. I'm singing with Prince. And I literally screamed at and get back to the song. Yeah. By the way, yes. you have to rewind. I, I, I gotta see that. I'm gonna YouTube that when okay. I leave the stage. You'll see it. Yes. I promise. <laughs> I'm gonna scream that child a couple of times because I love me some oh, Kelly Rowland and Destiny Child. Okay, let me get back to the questions. Yes, okay. Oh, you see, I had a moment. This is in real time. Okay. Can you do an impression of another musician? I don't do impressions you very don't? well. I think somebody might be insulted if I try. I don't think so. I don't, no. No. No? No. Okay, okay, dang. Okay, let's <laughs> Kelly, yes, you got something. Dang, okay. Don't give us some. Um, oh, I'm gonna try. Um, oh, mm-mm. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> no. I love you too. <laughs> I can't do it. I can't do it. I'm gonna get the giggles. Uh, no. <laughs> Not without getting a laugh out. Of Oh, no. no. There you go. You in the bass. Come on, let me do. Come on. Okay. Unbreak my. No, get in the right key. Come um, on, Kelly. Um, you okay. better keep. Um, um. Bring back the sun. There you go. That's it. <laughs> Tony. Tony, you hear that, girl? You hear that? Tell oh, me. By the way, can we just say how amazing Tony Braxton looks? She Did just celebrated her birthday. She looks... Man, she is goals. Oh my gosh, she's, she's so great. beautiful. You yes. are right. Yes. Ooh, child. Love her. Okay. Name something you think is sexy that most people don't. Hmm. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> I will say um, when a guy is bow-legged. Mm. <laughs> okay. Y'all, they sing like Oh, did I make y'all blush? <laughs> yeah. Everybody okay. got so quiet, I'm just saying. <laughs> no, I think we I all got agreement. here with somebody bow-legged, so I'm just saying. Somebody. You're funny, Kelly. You're hilarious. <laughs> okay. My mom was bow-legged, I okay. just like this. Let's see. I am too, I have two kids. L listen. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, go Let's ahead. Let's see. Now you got me wondering. <laughs> Let's see. I would say, I like salt and pepper hair. I Ooh. think that's sexy. Yo, yo. Right? Ooh, so my you like husband it? is getting a cute See? little salt and pepper beard. I'm like, boy. That's, that's, a, that's beautiful. It's cute. That is beautiful. Hey, Tim, how y'all doing? <laughs> How's the family? We won't He's have a so third. Sweet. You heard that? <laughs> okay, so if you had to commit a crime like a robbery, yes. you robbed a bank, Yes. which member of Destiny's Child would you ask for help? Oh. <laughs> oh, which, oh. I mean, we done see B, we seen B in a ski mask. Yes. I, I believe her with the ski mask on. A ski mask? Okay. <laughs> okay, I believe her with the ski mask on. Okay, I got, this is so fun to me, and I'll never get to have these moments yes, this yes, much. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, okay. Um, do you have any tattoos? Seven. Seven? Yes. You do? Yes, seven. They're all like small, like there's one here, there's one behind my neck, uh, there's one, I ain't where to go. There's one here. You lost count. There's one right here. I've got like three elephants on my ankle. Yeah. Oh, that yeah. was fun to learn, right? <laughs> I like that. Can I do one more? <laughs> this is my show. I could do one more. Okay. I want to do one more. You come on. What Actually, you got? Wanna, you want to uh, do one? Uh, there's, okay. there's a this tattoo artist winner. I I want him to do my next tattoo for sure. Okay. Yeah. What's the most painful thing you've ever had waxed? <laughs> or Kelly, hold the line. Okay. Well, you look like you want to answer that one. I just <laughs> Jenny just making me giggle today. Okay, but I still got another one. Okay. You want me to answer that? Yeah. Woo! Gotta answer that. Okay. Okay, and then I promise. I don't know what I mean. It's Kelly. I gotta have an extra moment. 
Okay, this I gotta ask. Who was your first celebrity crush? And then after this, I promise I'm gonna go to commercial break. My first celebrity crush was, oh God. It was prob, it, it was. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna go with this one. It was, <laughs> girl. <laughs> I'm sorry, it was Tevin Campbell. Really? That's adorable. As soon as, uh, by the way, I, I'm giggling because I wrote him letters and everything, and the, I was, and when I met him, I was like, oh my God, do you know how much I love you? Like I, and I was asking him to do a show, like I, I was asking a whole lot, and I he's probably it. just like, girl, just please shut up. <laughs> But I just, I love him, and I love his voice, and he's so talented, but it was Tevin Campbell. Tevin Campbell. Oh. Well, I love you. I love you. Thank you so much for being here. <laughs> You're so amazing. The Curse of Bridge Hollow is available now on Netflix. Netflix, we'll be right back. I'm so excited for this. Our next guest is an incredible kid dancer from Mexico. Please welcome Mari Andrea and her choreographer, Phil. Yeah. I have a question. How did you two meet? Okay, so I met Phil mm -hmm. in the Dance Awards. Mm -hmm. It's a dance convention mm -hmm. where you had workshops and master classes. I was taking a hip hop class from him. Really? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you ended up going viral together. Like, what was that like? Were you, you know? Yeah, so typically, hi everyone, Phil Wright. Nice to hey, meet Phil. you. <laughs> 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 So typically, I, I, I travel around the world with this convention, and usually I teach a master class, and then I usually pick out one inspiring student yes. that really like gets the room going. Uh -huh. And just so happened, Maria Andrea here just inspired the entire class. Yes. And it's you know, it, it really it's really not about being perfect, hitting every step. It was really about her her energy on stage and the way that she just related to everyone in, in the crowd. So it was amazing. You got an amazing eye. Yeah. Because, baby, you picked the right one. This is electrifying. Thank you. How did you feel when you saw that you went viral and saw so many people were watching? Um, oh, well, it's an honor to be inspiring so many people behind the screen by dancing, doing what I, I like the most. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's really inspiring yeah. wow. being a part of this. Yes. Mm -hmm. How old were you when you started dancing? I started dancing when I was five, six years old. Five, six years old? Yeah. Oh my God, where did you learn it from? Like who did you, so you see? I live in Mexico, mm -hmm. so I learned from obviously my mentors, choreographers, mm -hmm. and well, from all, mentors from all around the world, like one of them, yes. Phil. Phil. <laughs> and much more. <laughs> wow. Yeah. <laughs> And what makes Phil such a great teacher? What's okay. your favorite thing about him as a teacher? So first of all, he's the funniest guy I have ever met. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, he has a really good, unique energy. Uh, spark, the lights, the lights of the room. Mm -hmm. He is just, his choreography is exquisite. It's yes. so creative yes. and fun. Lovely. You're about to break me down. Aww. You know, you're not about to do this, Jennifer. <laughs> oh, you're amazing. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's really inspiring to see just, just kids traveling across the world just to get into this one classroom with you and to, like, relate that, that message to them. And dancing yeah. is such a free, free uh, uh, form of art, you know? Mm -hmm. And it, it's great to see, so. Yes, and it's amazing when you take time to invest in children like this, yeah. when they have a special gift and talent. So what you're doing, you're creating stars and building a lot of confidence within them, so keep that up. I do want to know, like, um, what is your favorite thing about dancing, both of you? Well, for me, it's such a stress relief activity. People work their nine to fives, they come after their job, they come to, to dance class. Mm -hmm. And it's just important for us to keep the love alive and vibrant in that, that space of craft. So that's what I love about dance. Nice. Yeah. nice. Okay. <laughs> for me, for me, dance, it's, well, you produce endorphins, that makes you happy. We should all be dancing. Yeah. Dance yeah. will yeah. solve your problems or, well, it does for me. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, that's what I love about dance. It makes me feel so good. Aww. Yeah. We love that because it makes us feel good watching you all dance. Yeah. We were talking about sneakers earlier on the show, so, and I just found out we have a woman in the audience that waited nine hours for a pair of sneakers. 
Where's Gail? Gail. Hi, Gail. How are you, Gail? Um, where are you from, Gail? L.A. L.A.? Los Angeles, California. <laughs> Los Angeles, California. And you waited in line for nine hours for some sneakers. Were they for you? No. Who were they for? For my daughter. For you? Oh, see, that's a mother's love, ain't it? Yes. Did you get them? Yes, I got them. She was, she's in college. She was in college back then. Okay. So she asked me when I stand in line for them and get them. I go, okay, I'll stand in line. <laughs> Did she, isn't that beautiful? Are you a, are you a sneaker lover, too? Do yes. You know, yes. About yes. how many Nikes. pairs do you have? Nikes? 25 pairs. 25 pairs? Nike. Wow. That's quite a collection. Okay. Um, what are you wearing right now? Nikes. <laughs> Nikes. <laughs> you sound like a great mom. Thank you. That is so amazing. Okay, well, can I add to your collection? All right, let me see what I got. Come on, because I want to add it. I got some more Nikes for you. Huh? And this, this right here, it's, it's a Jennifer, it's a Jennifer original, okay? Oh. So can I sign these for you? You just have it in your collection. Oh. Maybe put them up on your wall or something, because you're a great mom. I'm gonna scribble my signature right here, okay? So this is authentic. It is a real pair. <laughs> it is signed by the Jennifer Hudson. And I got a... <laughs> I got a whole show of witnesses right here. So don't know why you need to check your show. Here go one. <laughs> and then... Oh, that's your name. <laughs> here is the other one. Signed by J. Hud herself. Thank you. Nice to meet you. That is so beautiful. Thank you. Now, y'all get y'all sneakers too next time, okay? I want to thank all my guests, and I want to thank each and every one of you in the audience for coming to see about Little Old Me. Love y'all. Bye. If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel. Check your local listings or visit JenniferHudsonShow.com to see when you can watch full episodes in your area. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter.